There are hundreds and thousands of companies that we rely on in our daily lives, whether indirectly or directly. Many of these are based on our own purchasing decisions and many of these brands that we choose to use are pretty good investments too. Let's talk about owning the companies of the brands we use in our daily lives. Welcome to another episode of Money Matters. Take a moment to think through all the brands that you have chosen to use. Perhaps you own an Apple iPhone, or perhaps you use a Samsung. When you grab your coffee or lunch, which brands do you use? What brand of car do you drive? Which supermarket do you frequently use? When you heat and cool your home, which utilities company do you use? Remember that each dollar we spend today is one less dollar we retain for our future. To make up for this, how about we fix our personal balance sheet a little and buy shares in the brands we use? Every time we buy a depreciating asset, we counter this by buying an appreciating asset. Every time a purchase decision makes us lose money, we make another purchase decision that makes us gain money. So, how about this for an idea? When we replace our iPhones, we also treat, or tax depending on your perspective, ourselves to buying a share in Apple. When we top up our coffee card with credit, we buy a share in Starbucks to go with it. We buy the stock that matches our car, buy the stock that matches our TV, and buy the stock of the laptop brand we are using. We own all of our favorite brands. You will probably have a fairly good idea of which of the brands you use are doing well and will continue to do well in the future. Buy them. Go on a shopping spree, the right kind of shopping spree. We will shop our way to financial success. Thank you for joining us on this episode. Let us know what other topics you would like to hear about. Give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next episode of Money Matters. <music>